Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to learn about topic sentence supporting sentence and concluding sentence now what is topic sentence topic sentence is the most important sentence in the paragraph and introduces the main idea it tells readers what the rest of the paragraph is about now supporting sentences in a paragraph give more information in order to explain describe and develop the main idea in the topic sentence when you write supporting sentences you give examples description you build argument you quote different scholars reports and text to support your topic sentence are the idea you mentioned in your topic sentence okay now we have concluding sentence in the concluding sentence of uh, the paragraph you sum up the whole idea you describe the main idea one more time with different words you don't use the same words or sentences again and again so you use different words now look at this slide this picture of hamburger is going to make your concepts more clear now look at the upper part this is your topic sentence here you begin with a strong sentence you tell about your main idea now all the things inside it the green red brown all these things these things are supporting details about your main idea about your topic sentence here you include examples evidences and you give argument to support your main idea now look at the lower part this is your conclusion or closing sentence or concluding sentence you sum up here you sum up your main idea here now look at uh, the fourth paragraph of your uh, unit 4 uh, hazrat asma rizillah taala anha the first sentence of this paragraph is your topic sentence what is your first sentence on the night of the migration a tribal chief of disbelievers abu jahl in a fit of fury had it towards hazrat abu bakr siddiq rizillah taala anha's home this is your topic sentence and you introduced your main idea here that a tribal chief of disbeliever is heading towards hazrat abu bakar siddiq rizi allah taala anha's home and he is very angry now all the things all the details like how he addresses hazrat asma rizi allah taala anha uh, what questions he asks and uh, mm, how hazrat asma rizi allah taala anha responses and shows the wisdom and courage all these things are the supporting details are supporting sentences now the concluding sentence is here that he slapped hazrat asma rizi allah taala anha's face so hard and that her earring fell off but she remained steadfast and did not reveal the secret this is the concluding sentence i hope it's clear to you all now now let's move to our next topic and the next topic is preposition of time preposition of time is a preposition that allows you to discuss a specific time period such as date days week month months years seasons part of the day duration celebration fixed phrases days of the week special holidays a special part of a day in preposition of time we have preposition in at on in at and on so when we use in in a sentence as a preposition of time we use in for months 
when we talk about months when we we talk about years when we talk about seasons and when we talk about part of the day or duration for example in june in october here we are talking about months now if i say in 2017 in 1999 here we are talking about years now if i say in winter in summer here we are talking about seasons when we talk about parts of the day we have in the morning in the afternoon in the evening now if we talk about duration we how we use it when we talk about duration we use it like in a second in two weeks in two months this is how we use preposition of time in now we have at preposition at we use this preposition when we talk about parts of the day time of day celebrations fixed phrases for example at night at midnight at noon when we here we are talking about parts of the day okay let's move forward at at o'clock at 9 o'clock here we are talking about time of day now celebrations when we talk about celebrations we say at eve here we talking about celebrations or events and we are using preposition at now next we have preposition on we use this preposition to talk about days of the week like on sunday on friday we talk about dates like on the 20th of august we we talk about uh, special holidays like on the ikbal day or on my birthday that's it for now thank you